Hi guys, back with a, another spirit running guide. The last one I did was like 10 months ago, about then. Okay, guys, as I'm recording this, I didn't even like plan this out, but today is February 12th and I posted this February 12th. So that's like kind of cool. Okay, anyways, uh, back to the video. Yes, I'm going through every single level, starting from level zero all the way to the end. So. First, I'm going to go through my settings. I think many people are curious about settings. They're not super needed, but for the glitches, for certain glitches, yes. I start off with my frames at 120, um, because that is the first glitch that you come to, which is the moth jelly skip, where you jump onto the lock and go through the door. Yeah, in Terror Hotel. Uh, b single would be off the entire run, but that's about it for that. Uh, these graphics quality you can have these basically you can have these basically whatever you like whatever you want uh but there's a few a few things that they're nice on i like to have them on low these two distance and shadow on low they're only they only benefit you like a tiny bit on some levels habitable zone part three like the third part of habitable zone the one with the three possible elevator spawns one on each floor um, you can see through the walls with low distance and low shadow just makes it a little easier to see it But you can see through the walls and see if the elevator is there before Seeing if the door is locked if that is the elevator or not And another one is level 7 Thalassophobia You can just uh, part way through there's fog that comes in and it makes it a little harder to go directly where you need to go You know in a straight path with the fog, you know, it makes it a little hard so with uh, this that gets rid of that so yeah anyways gamma have it whatever you like i put mine here audio doesn't matter controls don't matter you can have this whatever i'm pretty sure mine is default and then game field of view some people like having 120 one 100 i just mine i like mine the default 90 doesn't really matter but i'll be showing off some strats that like i use to line up for some glitches like, I could line up, like, I jump a certain point when, like, a certain object is at the edge of the screen. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, you'll see when I get to the glitch, but I'm sure it'll work out either way if you do 120 or not. So, head bobbing. I used to have this on. I'm now changing it to off because I've actually realized it's a lot more easier than being off. I didn't realize that. But now I've realized that. So, yeah. And I believe that's all. You can have whatever you want on whatever other crap you like. All right. Now to begin, there's one important, sort of important thing that's pretty new. There's a new skip that you use two files to skip certain levels. Now those levels are office, lights out, cave, and farm. It doesn't matter if you do this on multiplayer or single player, it doesn't work. But basically, you're going to create two staves. But I'll talk about this later at the end because there's because there's a lot to talk about, about them. a little bit, not too much, but it'd be better if I talk about it later because I will be going through both ways. I'll try to do the levels normally and if you do the, the, the two file thing where you skip them. Anyways, most speedruns are done on normal and easy. I'm gonna be doing easy, which is easier because you don't have to worry about sanity. And some RNG is a little better, like level 922, blah, blah, blah. Uh, more so, uh, the floor is going to be lower, like the ninety, the, the level ninety four flow, the level ninety four floor is going to be like a little lower, you know, compared to normal or hard or nightmare. But that's basically why, and I just you know it's just a little easier for me, a little more fun. You can do normal if you want. You don't have to worry about sanity. You know, that's mainly the whole gist of it. Anyways. Now just for a normal run, remember, at the end of this video, I'll be showing off the dual file thing. If you're curious about that, it will save a lot of time, like 5 to 8 minutes, maybe more, maybe less. I'm not entirely sure on how much time it actually saves. But if you're curious about that, yeah, go check it out. Now, to begin, yes, I'm going to do just a normal run. I'm not going to do that file thing, so let's get in. Now I'm sure before, or as we're going in, I'm sure many of you are curious about bee hopping. I mean, I know a lot of you probably already know about it, but just in case if not, 
I'll go through it again. Whatever your sprint button is, shift. Whatever your forward button is, W. Those are mine. Now while you're pushing them, push jump. And the moment you jump, let go of shift, your running button. And then, once you land back on the ground, tap shift, tap space. All while doing that, also be moving forward. So yeah, moving forward. Shift, jump. Shift, space, shift, space, shift, space, shift, space, shift, space, shift, space. And if you need to like cut around a corner like this, you can hold shift a little longer till you have the momentum to go that direction. Because if you just do it instantly, you're going to like just do a little wide angle, you know. Anyways, I believe that's about it. And yes, this should be your spawn, by the way. This should be your spawn. If you're doing multiplayer and you are the host, this should also still be your spawn. Unless you're like the second, third, or fourth player to join the lobby, you're going to be somewhere else. Probably somewhere in that direction. Anyways, I'll be showing off the path as well to about almost all these maze levels. But they're going to be four times speed, so you can slow it down if needed. Alright, now collect your little ladder pieces. And the moment you start the ladder cutscene, reset the level. We do this because it's just a little bit a little bit of a faster path compared to a uh, straight from the ladders. So, oh, yes. All right, pitfalls. There are multiple ways to do this. Uh the most probably the most simple and easy way is just to hug this face directly against the wall and your character's going to automatically, you know, to one side or the other side and then just once that happens it shouldn't happen again and you can just run to the end like this but one a little like the intended way of the game is just be hopping across and uh you know stop yourself from bouncing over just you know as your character tilts a little bit to one side tilt the other way you know as the game's intended or there's a very complicated way uh, as you'd be hopping, you can push Q as you're in the air and fly across there. This is very complicated. Only real professionals do this. And, you know, I'm not going to be doing that. So, yeah, screw that. You know. Anyways, that's about it. Habitat Zone. This one? I believe there are 14, 15, 16, 17 possible codes. I'm not entirely sure. But one big thing to know about all this... Uh, there can only be a certain amount of certain colors. Like a minimum and maximum. Red, 0 to 3. There can only be 0 to 3 red cars. Green, 0 to 1. Blue, 0 to 3. Yellow, 0 to 1. So red, red and blue, 0 to 3. Green and yellow, 0 to 1. As you can see, the code could be like something like that. Or just all four of them. Alright, so there's always a certain pattern that I like to go through. I usually start with red, green, blue, yellow, red, green, blue, blue, red, blue, blue, yellow, and then red, red, green, blue, red, red, green, yellow, red, red, blue, blue, and then red, red, blue, yellow, but that's the code, so I'm not, because it will just quit out the thing, I don't want to, I want to keep going, so yeah, red, red, blue, yellow, and then red, 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 green, red, 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 blue, red, 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 yellow, Red, blue, 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 green, blue, 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 yellow, blue, blue, yellow, green, and that's about it, besides the actual code. Red, red, blue, yellow. I believe that's all of them. I could be wrong. I don't think so. But usually you won't have to go through all the codes because, you know, there are certain ones that are like more common than others. I forgot to mention this. Um... A little handy trick, you can push the button and run out and go to get a flashlight or almond water if you're on normal. You can either go to over there or to where I usually go, just to ride around the corner. So, push the button, run over here, and right into this room. And good chance to come across a flashlight. Now, next part. This is where you have to grab the four keys, or find the four keys. There are a five total rooms that keys can spawn in. There's that one, the exit room, that one right there. Technically, 
technically two separate rooms, but it's one big little chunk. There's another one past the exit room over there, and one in the back. Which usually, if you, if you have to go there, I would probably just reset the run because it's going to waste a lot of time. Anyways, I'm going to be showing off all of the spawns. So in this little room, there's four possible spawns. Here, 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 and right here. So we got one, and nothing else. Now, there are four more, just right in here. One right there, one right here, one here, and one right there. As you can see, we found one, which is pretty cool. So, two more to find. And here, there are four more spawns. One here, right here, there's a third one. Here, and right here. So, those are the four spawns, and we just need one more key. And there are three more in this little section right here. One here. One here. Huh. Oh. Alright. Don't mind him. And one right here. As you can see, I would probably reset because the last key is right in the back room over here. But I'll show you the keys ones anyways if you're not going for a super good run. But... I'll get it and show you. Also, one more thing before I show you them. I shall show you them real quick. One here, here, and here. Um, if you happen to restart the level before you collect all the keys, like if I, like let's say if I restart now, I've only collected three of them, and I don't collect this one, one left over, you're going to keep those three keys. But the final key they have to find is going to be randomized again through all the spawns. That's one thing to take note in. If you're forced to restart because a uh, skin stealer finds you, or I don't know why else you would restart. But, just FYI. Anyways, let's finish this then. Alright, this is the third part of How to Zone. Like earlier I said, this is where the low distance and low shadow comes into play a little bit. As you can see, you would be able to tell if the elevator is there, right here on the first floor or not. As you can see, there's no elevator. You would, you would not miss it. You would see the little fence gate thing there, but as you can see, it is not that floor. You wouldn't miss it if it was there. Just FYI, onto the... Going down to the bottom of this ramp, you can. That's when you decide if it's, or you'll be able to find out if it's on the third or second floor. As you can see, you can see it. If if it's not there, you would only see this gate right here, this little dark piece right there. Yo, can he see me or something? What in the heck? As you can see, it is not there. You can barely even see that little fence gate there. And as you can see, it's right here. But let me show you the spawn. If it did happen to be on the third floor, or where the door is, it would be right at that door right there. Yep, that's all you need. Probably all you need to know about this level. And if the skin sealer does happen to be chasing you, run around the corners like this. It will slow him down a little. Huh, <laughs> a little scary there. Now, level hub. Or the hub. Alright, I'm hoping you know how to do this. It's a matching game. There's a right section. This little piece here. You're trying to just find among these three columns. Anyways, you know I, how I do this. I first check these three. As you can see, it's obviously not here. I look at the bottom, the bottom few. As you can see, it's not those bottoms. I look at the top. And it's not these tops. So I choose a random one. I choose any direction. Go all the way. And to cover as much much ground as possible. Once I hit the end of one, I just go to the next one and choose my choose a favorite direction. It's not there. And then choose your next one. And hopefully you will have found it by now. But if not, you're gonna have to go to a previous one. And go the complete opposite direction. 
As you can see, we have not even found it yet. So, pretty unlucky, but we found it. Then we're on to the next one. I have not found it. Found it, and found the next one. Now, one thing, another thing to know about this little, this part. You can skip the password if you change the language of your game. I'm pretty sure you can do that uh, on the main screen. I don't think you can do it mid-game, but I often don't. But, maybe I should. I don't know. Anyways, you come back here. Alright, right when you push run on the computer, reset the level. Forgot to mention that, but that is a very handy thing. I'm just so used to doing it, I just forgot to tell you. Yeah, so yeah, once you push run, the, you're able to restart the level and head straight back here. Open this. Now, if they, there is like some old strat, I don't know if it's still a thing. You can directly run to that. Run like between that pillar and the next pillar. You can't see it right now. But once you do that, yeah, let me wait till it turns on. Once you get to like there, you can run directly to the middle of that wall, and maybe you'll be safe. I don't know if that strat is still a thing, but I like to play it safe because that can be risky. And I believe it's only uh, possible on a single player server actually, not multiplayer. Because I believe there are more smilers on multiplayer, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Unless you're going for some crazy time, you can learn about it. You can always check out the speed running Discord. Anyways, um, you can actually, from that first section, you can run straight here to the third section. Once it, the light turns back on. Just hug the wall and you should be fine. Now, another tiny handy thing about the low distance, slow shadow. You can see if the door, if this is the correct door to the exit. Uh, there would be a light under there, if it was the correct door. As you can see, there is no light. It's the wrong one. Now, there's only two spawns. This one, and then complete mirrored on the opposite side. Just down there to the right, and that door. But I'll show you what it looks like if it is the correct door. Right underneath. And... And you see, there is a little bit of a light underneath. So, that is the door. And then you move on to the next. Pipe Dreams. Now, I'm sure you probably don't need help on this level. The first time you're here, you, you just run to the left. The second time you're here, just run to the right. But there's one little handy thing I'll show you in a second. Alright, once you come to the dark section, the smile is going to start chasing you in a second. And the moment you hear him behind you, you have infinite stamina. So, you don't have to b-hop anymore. Just at this point, though. I see, I can hear him, and you can just run to the end, and move on to Electrical Station. Now. There used to be a glitch where you could use that fence to get on top on the previous update, but that's been patched. No more. You have to do all Electrical Station now. Now to first trigger this door to open, you just have to get beyond these pillars. I often just open it because it's kind of fun a little bit. But now the first section, you have to find three breakers. And I believe there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven spawns. I could be wrong, but let's, I know exactly where they all are. Here's one right here. Here is the second one. Oh, we got good spawns. And then all the rest are just over here. Oh, and actually that is like really nice spawns. We have our last one. Now, you could restart here. It could put you to the, you know, the next checkpoint, but I've sometimes in the previous updates, if I restart a bit early, like over here, it will restart the whole level for some reason. But I'll, sh I'll tell you more about that in a second. I'll show you the rest of the spawns. There's going to be one right there, one right there, one right here, and then the final spawn. You can actually, it's in the room that's right beyond here. You can access it like earlier in this little section, but you can actually 
If you just spam F, like looking right here, you'll be able to grab onto it. It's pretty easy. You shouldn't have a problem with it, but it's right here. Anyways, with the restart level thing, when that happens, I always just come to here whenever I'm done with all three of them. And I just restart the level here. And I've never had it fail there. So, on to the second section. There are five spawns, I believe. One right here. And then we have another one. Just right here. We have one more right beyond the store. Right here. And then two more in the spider room. There's a dog in there, though. So, careful as you enter. And actually, you can time this well. If he's after you, you blind him once and then quickly do it. Or if you want to play safe, you can blind him all three times and have a run to the end. And he should be safe. Don't do it on the one over there. Because that one has a lot more switches. And it's pretty risky. It could be possible. But I don't risk it. I often risk it on this one. You know, blind him once, quickly do him, and then reset. But yeah. I don't know if I for sure showed you where that other breaker was, but I kind of put in the general direction. You'll find it if it's there. There's a red light. But anyways, on to the third. This dude, alright, this dog right around the corner. You kind of have three options. You could just run straight to the door, right past, but it could be risky because you have to be quick because he'll be right behind you. And that's also risky because the dog, the other dog in the next room could be right there and just eat you up. I, usually people don't even do that. But another option is doing that and then blind him once, then run through. Yeah, it's a tiny bit slower, but... Nah. But the other option, you can blind him three times, have him run back and he'll despawn. Or you can just run back here and he can't get to you. And he, after a while, he'll just run back and then he'll despawn. Anyways, let's go through. There is one spawn right in here. Oh, as you can see, it's right here. Close that on him so he can't get in. Play a little Among Us. And you got one. There's two more in here. They're not in there. On to the next room. One spawn there. It's not there. One spawn. One can spawn right there. Not to be pretty risky with this one. It's usually better to, uh, like, blind him, have a run over here, and then go and do it. Unless he's, like, already over here. Anyways, there's one more right in here. There's one more in there. It's not in there. Also, one fancy thing about this dog... Once he runs away into the back, as you can see he's doing that, he's gonna despawn. You don't have to worry about him anymore. He's probably a good chance the last dog you'll have to worry about. Alright, so yeah, one spawn there. One spawn right there. One spawn right there. There's one on each of these doors. Oh, there's one more right here. Okay. Don't need shoot. We just need one more. There's one right there. Also, uh, there's not really a way to avoid this dog if you have to check this door. But he's very easy to avoid if once he's after you. But, one right there. Just run back into here. And then run to the next section. And he can't get to you. This little area right here. There's three or four more spawns, I believe. I think just three. Way more possible spawns. Usually you'll probably, there's a good chance you've fa already found all three of them, but just in case if not, here's the last spawn. I'll do it in a second. The other one, I believe is right there. It could be here, but I'm pretty sure it's right there. And then the very last one, right there. And once you do this last one, you can just restart the level and move on to office. Oh yeah, just restart. 
Now, another thing about the dual game thing, just a reminder, uh, this is where it would first take place. Uh, just again, I'll be telling that at the ending because it's like a it's like a separate side of the skips. I'd like to show off this the levels normally, but I'll tell you guys how to do them if you would like to. If you don't want to skip these levels, I will show you how to do these levels. But yeah, all right. Anyways, level office. Next thing up is the counting. Um, how I like to do this, I like to first count the, ch the tables and then the chairs. So you can see, four tables, four chairs. Then I count the water. As you can see, three waters. And then I completely guess the books and wait to hear for the door to open. Because the books are probably the hardest to count. Because they're small, you can easily miss them. And yeah. One easy little nice thing. Uh, tables, they're going to be one to six possible. Chairs, I believe it's one to ten. Water, one to six again. Books, one to ten. Anyways, let's move on to the next. Oh yeah. Choose is always good to grab. They buffed it in the recent update, so... It's always nice to grab them. Now, if you're on good pace right here, like if you didn't mess up or anything, or even mess up like a tiny bit, it should be still be fine. You can just run directly under this camera. Unless you're too slow like me, you can still avoid him. But if he's facing directly that way, most likely catch you. And if you're like unsure, if you're unsure about it, you can take this normal route, open this door, go through this. But just the better route is just to run around the corner and this way. Uh, you can go through there, but there's a good possibility the camera's going to see you. If you're on like a fast pace, it, it's most likely going to see you. So just take that little secondary route. <clears throat> and then just uh, run to the end. And make sure to keep your stamina. Now, oh, hello. The code here is this one first, this one here, this one, and then a little handy little trick here. You can just run straight up that. Just run. You don't have to jump up on top. But once you're on top, here about, you can jump onto there, jump again, onto the painting. Just like this. And that's all of them. Grab yourself a bug spray. Now, oh yeah, I believe there are seven or eight spawns. Four on this side of the map, and then three or four. I think it's three, I could be wrong. But there's only three possible, or three, you only need to find one, but there's only be three that are going to be floating around. <laughs> or moss that are going to be floating around, three of them. So usually, I usually just go only stick to this way. There is a very rare chance that none of them are going to be over here and take up all three spawns over here. So, but that's very rare. Very rare. I've only haven't had it happen to me like twice ever. Anyways, the first spawn right here. This is the best possible spawn. If you get it here, you're you got a good run. But it's not here. Now there is just one more right over here. Right there, as you can see, we do have it. But I'm gonna show you the two other spawns. There is one right here, not there. And then there's one more clear back here. Right there. You can see we got it. So get our moth jelly. And I'm probably not going to show you the other three or four spawns from the other side of the map. <clears throat> as they're easy to find um, and there's a high chance that you won't even need to go over there unless you mess up the, the skip but you can easily find them on your own I'm not going to show you sorry alright you got your key also while during that if you haven't set your FPS to 120 
V-Sync is disabled. You can do that as you're waiting for the key. Now, for the one and only uh, Moth Skip. I'm pretty sure that's the name, but... With head bobbing off, this is a lot easier. Uh, first, just kind of line yourself up about here. Like, just like this. You know. Just a few more angles for you to see. Some people like to go full 60 and find, like, get very zoomed in on a specific spot. I don't think you have to be very precise with this, but... Right. Once you get there... Actually... I don't know if it's going to bug out if my character is standing like that. I never tried it with that and I'm scared to, so try to avoid that. Now, once you're about here, just center your cursor like this on this dark part. Just center it. Oh yeah, center it. And also, FYI, I'm not pushing anything else right at the moment. Now, once you're at this point, just push F. This is the third time I failed it so far this update. So it's my strat usually works, but sometimes not. You know, line yourself about like this. Maybe a little more to the left. No, no, no. That's pretty good right there. Yeah. Look here and F. That's about it. I, actually, I believe you stay crouching the whole time. I don't know if that for sure matters, but just do it. Just stay crouching the whole time, just in case. Anyways. On to the next. Now. The, the code here. There's three possible codes. I usually just have them written down. I have a separate document on a different monitor that I use. Anyways. The first one. 05938. 05938. As you can see, that was correct. I'm gonna show the other ones real quick. The other ones are 89472, 89472. And also, this is usually the order that I do the codes. Like if 05938 was incorrect, I'll move on to 89472. And then finally, the last one, 17. Oh. One seven five six four. One seven five six four. And there it is. On to the next. Oh, okay. That can sometimes happen. I'm not sure why, but just with the level. Anyways. This will be in four times speed, so uh if you wanna watch it normally, go ahead. All right, now once you get to here, you're gonna have infinite stamina while these dudes are chasing you, but once you're here, just run like this, and hit this valve. And that's it. Now it's gonna be one more one more time when another moth is gonna be chasing you. It'll be up here in just a second, right beyond this doorway. It's gonna see you right then. Just run through here. Hit this. Uh, you don't necessarily have to. If you're quick enough, you can make it to the end uh, before he gets to you. But that's a chance if you're good enough. So I would just hit the valve to be safe. That doesn't really you don't really lose any time doing so. Maybe like a millisecond because the door at the end actually opens up quicker if the moth is chasing you. But that's like a tenth of a second faster. Maybe half a second. Anyways, pipe dreams. You know how it be. It's your second time being here. Just move to the right and forward, all the way forward to level fun. And again, once you hear the smiler behind you, infinite stamina. So you don't need to be hop. All right, level fun. So, to begin with, I'll run just directly forward as you load in. Now, I'm gonna have to go through this all at once because it's a little hard to do this slow. But I wanna, like, stop right here for a second. 
first, as you're just going under, you're going to pop this balloon. Not going to do it yet. But once you do that, you're going to run directly this way. And you're going to follow these little dots right here. And once you get to that one right there, you're kind of going to like strafe, like pushing A and W to move like diagonally left and then into the next hallway. I'll show you real quick. And then I'll, I can pause at the next little bit right after that. Now, right here, you kind of have to keep going back and forth. Don't mind that. Basically, keep doing that, go back and forth, kind of loop them, you know, till they get stuck. They often usually get stuck on the first time. But I'll show you again. Okay. It's kind of like when you're about to get onto that dot. I was kind of thinking too much about it when I usually don't have to. Anyways, once you're here, you're going to pop this balloon and you're just going to run around. But yeah, just keep like going back and forth. Make sure they don't get you until they get stuck. Anyways, pop the balloon. Do not get too close. You can just run to the whole level. Uh, aim like this little metal section here. Kind of hug a little bit. Take it here. Straight to here line up on this once it get a little bit past pillar go back and there you go i would kind of practice that uh because it can be a little tough it's kind of hard saying it all as like the moment's going on i hope it was good enough actually i'll say one more thing when i go like a little bit past like right at the end there when i go a little bit past the pillar and i like go back it's because that one uh, party goer, it's just to get his attention and he and he'll like follow you around the pillar. It, it, to know you did that part right is when like the music will cut a little. But if that doesn't happen, you can like juke him around like the last little bit. Like if you mess it up and you didn't hear the, the music cut, you can just still keep the normal route. But then like kind of like once he the second he starts running to you once you go around kind of like zoom right to the wall to the left and you might just get around him but i would practice that on your own anyways okay let's move on to the next oh yeah they fixed uh pool rooms the sanity or no the uh the sprint the stamina stamina the stamina they fixed that it used to be super low but now it's just normal you can still have to be hop but at least i think I never just fully ran. Like, let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, B hop still. I don't know why I would think that you have independent stamina here. Anyways, yeah. I guess one little part to know about this. Just follow the right wall to know the exact how to get to the end. If you're the host, of course. And if that was your spawn. Because if you're not the first player... Or in single player, like the first player of a multiplayer server. You're going to spawn somewhere else. Anyways. Yeah, just hug the right wall. I mean, don't directly hug it, but... If it's your first time playing, just trying to find the path, hug the right wall. Then you get it. Now, level run. This is pretty simple. I guess just basically follow what I do. Uh, crouch is actually a little bit of a strat. Crouch jumping. Let me turn this down real quick. Uh, crouch jumping, yes. That's it's a little too quiet. Yeah, crouch jumping. Jump, then crouch mid-air. Uh, this can help to get over some objects. It just, like, mm, a few milliseconds faster. I usually often don't do it. Because it doesn't really save you that much time while being risky. Because I'm not a super competitive, super, a super speedrunner, you know? I'm just trying to go for a good run without doing too much because, you know. All right, anyways, let's go with it then. Also, infinite stamina. Jump earlier there, jump earlier. You can crouch jump here. 
Oh, unless you're a little behind like me, then it doesn't matter. You don't have to crowd. Um, let me see something. You don't have to crouch jump at that little bookshelf. It's just a little bit better. Because I think it might be normal if you just normally jump to the farthest right. But, all right, the end. I'm kind of going to quickly show you off my path before I go through it in, through it all. I'll restart my level as like I just got into the level for the first time once I finish telling you all this. But my pathing, I like to go to this one first. Check these three, go between there. Check that side. Check this fully. Push the fire alarm. But one thing I should tell you about the fire alarm. If Scratcher, I think that's what he's called, is chasing you as you push the fire alarm, he's still going to chase you. But if he's not, he's going to go there directly there. Even if you're like right next to him, he's just going to pass you and uh, he'll get the fire alarm. Okay, he's a little too close. But yeah, once he does that, he's going to go there, stand there for a little bit and then go back to roaming. But once you do that, you're going to run right over here. Check these, 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 these. After also, after you do this enough, you start to memorize where all of the uh, tapes will spawn. You will start to memorize them. There's going to be... Bonds here, check these. Come over here, check that, 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 and then go through each, every single one of these. Also, it cannot spawn behind here. None can spawn behind there. Check these. Then back to the fire alarm again. Boom, push it. Check these. Here, here, here. Those. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. And this will often be your last possible spawn. Anyways, let's go through it all real quick. Okay, that was terrible. This could be a little easier with higher FOB. You, you know, have a... You can see more wider. See if the tapes are there. Or not. Okay. I have a semi... Memory of like where the tapes will spawn. As you can see, I'm like checking certain spots directly. One can spawn like up there, but not there. As you can see, that's all of them. Now, one thing I like to do the next level while you're waiting. Change to 60 frames because this makes this level a little easier. You can just do it normal, like sprinting up like this or, you know. But I've changed my difficulty to normal. Just because I was a little lazy to create a whole new save. So I just stole someone else's save. Anyways. You're going to look down. And kind of do like a WASD little movement. movement. You're going to have to really practice this. Because... This is kind of a little hard, but you just have to practice it. You know, figure out how exactly you need to do this. But anyways, when you're on easy, the possible floors are 10 to 30. But I believe on normal, it's like 20 to 50, 10 to 50. I don't exactly know. I think it's something to 50. Anyways, you can look directly down and you know when you're at the floor when it uh, disappears. So, or you could just, you know, keep looking up, but you can look just directly down and do your little WSAD thing. I'm not the best at it, but it gets some practicing and eventually you can get really good at it. But as you can see, the floor just disappeared and it's 94. So, once you're on this floor, you can just spam spacebar kind of close to the center and you just like no clip through the floor. That usually works. Anyways, you can uh, put your FPS back. Or you could leave it because you'll be needing it again on the level after this. Alright. Level 94. The main goal here is to get to the very end in one day cycle. Meaning getting there before it gets fully dark. So. I guess just follow my path then. Also, I guess another thing, you don't need juice to get to the end in one day cycle. It'll help, but 
you don't really have to also if you aren't like super confident that you are going to because you're going to barely get there on time uh if you have good really good pathing uh, you're going to barely get there and if you think you aren't super confident in your pathing near the end You can reset the level and just be a little safe, but you will lose maybe like 10 5 or 10 seconds. I'm not entirely sure So Let's see the path then. Oh, yeah. Oh shoot. Uh, pretend that didn't happen We're going to skip that first track because it doesn't really Add any time or lose any time. It's like about the same as just running like this only because the truck doesn't go in a straight path. But we are going to go for this second truck right over here between these houses. Alright, now you're here. You can just chill in the back. Also, if you are actually going to do that restart level thing, this is where about you'll be doing it. Uh, to know when to do it, it's when you get to the fork. I'll show you in a second. And you can see the fork right here. The second you like go onto this road, you can just restart the level. And you spawn there again and you can just run to the end. Oh shoot. Well. Since I'm on normal, I'm probably gonna die. But you can run straight to the end right here. Actually, I got some juice. Yeah, I can make it to the end just in time. But once the truck starts to slow down, that's when you can just run out from the back and run straight to the end. Also, another little handy thing about juice um, you're only actually gaining speed if you're not pushing the, the run button. Because if you're running, you're going to be running speed. And, you know, that's, you know, kind of what you want. So. And one thing to also know about it, um, it's going to force you to walk once you're done. Once this, uh, the juice is gone. It's going to force you to walk. If you're, like, pressing shift, pressing shift as it ends. There we go. Yeah, once you're pushing, if you're holding shift as it ends, it's going to force you to walk. So you're going to have to let go and then push it again. Anyways, yes, I changed back to 60 because it's easier to move these on 60. 30 also works, but it moves them a little too much. It's a little hard to control, but 60 is just like the perfect spot. Anyways, I like to start with this first one. It's always going to be circle. And I move on to this next one. Circle star. Next, we got normal star all the way back at the end. And then we got square. And also another little, just a little tip. It can be anywhere in the circle. As long as part of it is in the circle, it will count. Like this one's slightly off. But if it's like, like that, I think that will still work. I'm very sure. I'm No, it will work. I'm very certain it will. It will. Now. Run to the back here. You can just stare away from him. You can move your thing to 150. Yes, that, that is the next glitch. Also as extended pool rooms. I don't know the official name. But they're not going to be changing it for a while. Now once he's gone. And if you're curious on why the lights is like this. Because I'm pretty sure it's because I have it. My shadow on low. See? But... I mean, it does look better like this, but I just keep it because, you know, the next two levels away is Blastophobia, which is, like I said at the beginning, uh, you can see you won't, you can see through the fog, or the fog won't even be there, and you can swim straight to the end. So yeah, you just stand here, facing this direction, and you should be completely safe. Another option, you can just sit right here in this corner, looking about here. But you have to spam F, or when you spam F, when you think it's about to end. Or just push F the moment you hear it, but you'll probably lose like half a second due to that. Or you can just sit back here, and you can see the timer. 67, 68. But on how I do it, it's when it's almost done, like 90, 95. That's when I go and chill right there, and I just spam F for the last little bit. So, 
You can just chill here. Ugh. Oh, that was a little late. I totally wasn't on my phone or anything. But. Right again. Alright. Lights out. I can't have a flashlight at the moment, but to begin with, I'll show you the path to the lighter section. And also I will help you a little bit in the lighter section. Anyways. Into this first little door doorway here. Directly right. And this way. I'm gonna spit it up here. If you want to see it slow down, change your uh, speed to 0.25. Alright, now once you're here, get your LiDAR. One little fancy tip. You can, uh, you know, keep spamming it, but you will have to like, wait a little bit. But if you, like, unequip it, go back to it instantly, you can do it again. But it's gonna be a different color. Shouldn't be no biggie. I usually just keep it normal. But, okay. I have, like, little bits that kind of, like, help me memorize this a little bit. I've lost some muscle memory of this after like taking a break from the game but first you know you're gonna find this first doorway section there's gonna be this long little bit then once you're here think of it now you're gonna be at the bottom of a three like you're at the bottom left of a three because like a three is well, i guess for the camera it's gonna be like that wait hold, hold on hold on like that so you're gonna be at the bottom here you're gonna move like this, and then like that, and then, yeah. So I'm gonna show you that a little bit. Also, you can crouch the whole way, and it's gonna be slow, but he won't get you if you crouch the whole way, like crouch walk. And also, if you're like walking, running, and if he is with, like I'd say, I like to crouch when he is at the second green circle. Once like a once he's like halfway through it. But just to be safe, I do it when he touches that green circle. So make sure to crouch then. Anyways, yes. Think of it as a three. Let me go back to the beginning here. So, yeah, so you start with this long path here. You got this three, you're going up and around. Also, you're of course gonna have to practice this over and over. And then it curves in. Let's say you're at this is the middle of the three right here. So it instantly goes back. And it's going to curve again. Also, another. Oh, yeah. And here's the top of the three. Now, once you're past him, you can just freely run because you, if you're just running, he can't really catch up to you. But you can do a thing. If he's following you, uh, he can't get you as long as you're moving forward. That's one little handy thing to know. Anyways, you got this long little bit here. Just another long little hallway after the top of the three. You're going to come to the end. And there's going to be a doorway here. It's going to come out from the end a little bit. You're going to go in. And the next is going to be an instant to the left. And it's going to be right. It's going to be a doorway once again. Slightly a little bit from the end here. And then there's going to be a little split off. Go right. Now, this is kind of how it, this little bit is going to repeat for like a little bit. You're going to go to the right. There's going to be a little forward section. It's going to go to the left. There's going to be a doorway. And then that's where the repeat will happen again. You're going to be going to the right. It's going to be a little bit more right this time. Find this doorway. Uh, straight a little bit and then to the left. And instead of it like being a doorway to the right, quickly it's going to be all the way down here to the doorway I hope that was good ex explanation if you think it sucked let me know maybe I'll do a tutorial of just only this level probably not but maybe anyways that's the end on to the last of phobia oh and we're almost dead again okay let me just drink up Okay, there's no almond water here. Alright. Alright, so yeah. Spam shift. 
as you are going to the water. And it's pretty easy to mess it up, but after a few tries, this is what it will look like. You're going zooming. You're just zooming. Yeah. Now, first, in the past, we wouldn't need the flare gun that you gained in this house. Usually, we just go straight to the lighthouse at the end. But we need the flare gun for the extended pool rooms because of the the raft launch. Very much needed. So, straight to this house. I get you a flare gun. And we're going to do the spam sprint again. There you go. After a while, it's pretty easy to do, but it's also pretty easy to mess up. Now, just straight to the end. I also mention this again. The reason why there's no fog is because I have my distance and shadow on low. I don't know which one exactly makes it no fog, but one of them. Now, once you get to here, you can just uh, spam space and we'll put you back on once you're close. Now, I'll just set that aside. Put on your helmet. Now, we're going to do a little tricky little thing here. We're going to be partially in. I have to go this far in about. It will get down. And then you're going to back out. Make sure you stay crouched during that whole time. Then run on top and like jump off the diagonal like that. You're going to have to crouch jump a little bit on some of these parts if you get stuck. Try to be quick with this. Because after a while your swimming is going to come back. It's best to land here and then your swimming will come back. But I was a little slow. I hope that was a good explanation. But yeah. Actually, one thing I should tell you about before. Hold on, let's see if I can restart. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you again real quick. I feel like that was a little fast. But yeah. Crouch jump to get on top of this. Yeah, let me show you again. Go a little bit like this. Look all the way down. I might have been too far in because my camera, the camera is weird sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't allow you to look directly down. Sometimes it only allows you to look here. I don't understand it fully. But. Just kind of guessing where you think it would be. Do this. Once it goes down, back up. Crouch jump. Oh. You're going to have to be quick with it or you're going to mess up. Just like me. Okay, so this again. Goes down. Go back. Crouch jump when it's all like, about like that. And then just jump off just right about there. Jump off a little more right than I did. And you, and you can avoid getting stuck around those rocks. And then just keep crouch jumping around here. Then. Should we be uh, something like that? A little something like that. No. On to the next. Cave. Alright. Yeah, you don't need those. Well, I guess... Okay, on this first little bit here, you have kind of two options. You can play it safe. Oh yeah, first always crouch here. But you can play it safe and walk till you're like past that rock, and then you can freely run. Or when you're about here, you can stand up and have the moth chase you. It's a little risky. I'll show you real quick. But you have infinite stamina. You have to like whoosh through here, crouch jump through that, and then. Just like this. Or, I think it saved my... Yes, it did. One thing I kind of know here, kind of hug that little bit. Don't like, when you're coming around here, don't hug this. Because the moth is going to see you quicker, I believe. And there's a good chance it will kill you before you actually get here. So, kind of like when you're coming around, come around like sh hugging this wall straight to here. 
and you should always make it. If not, then... Now, cave. This is where the glitch happens, or the little no clipping happens. Okay, you're going to crouch jump on top of this. You're going to move a little bit back. Sometimes, oh yeah, uncrouch, so you can know when your character will uncrouch. But sometimes doing this way, you might push it too much, but just barely tap it, barely wedge your little back but button. If you can't really do that, you can like move in diagonally like that. Okay, now crouch jump once again. Oh, hold on. Okay, crouch jump, and kind of like aim for this little bit here. Crouch jump once again, and then you're gonna have to like move back a tiny bit again, and then crouch jump on top of this. It will take a little bit of practice because it, it's a little hard to understand sometimes. But once you're here, crouch jump onto the onto this, and then run over here. Now, once you're here. Kind of just aim for a little bit around here. Crouch jump. Run over here. About here, just uh, aim, like looking towards this rock. And you can just directly run. Like once you're here, aim towards this rock and just directly run. If you don't do that, you may get a little stuck. And if you do get stuck, crouch jumping is a good way to get unstuck. Just kind of do it randomly. Now. Crouch jump from here to there, here to there. Crouch jump here. Run up here. Crouch jump. Why easier? Crouch jump. Then once looking for this, run straight off. And now just run along here. Going to crouch jump here. Crouch jump. Crouch. Oh, oh geez. Oh geez. Oh geez. Oh geez. Oh geez. Usually get on top of that and just jump to here. And then kind of like spam jump there. Crouch jump. Or you could mess up like that. Crouch jump if that happens. Then run along here. Crouch jump. Land. Ta da. Now. You can take a little bit of a shortcut here. You don't have to do this. But it does save probably just a few few seconds. No. Now I'm going to show you all possible spawns and which houses have a wretch inside of them. Now, none of these three, none of those three. This is the first one. This one does have a wretch. And I also show you the PC in it. Or the computer in it. But I'll show you after I show you all of them. So that one. Yes, does have a wretch. This one, no wretch. This one, no wretch. And apparently, I think I saw someone say it can spawn in this one. I've never seen it. Never had it in there. So, that one does have a wretch. I don't know where this computer is, though. I won't worry about that one because I've never even had it there. I don't think anyone has. But anyways, don't need to worry about that. This one, no wretch. This one, yes, wretch, but it's very easy. This one, yes, wretch, also very easy. This one, no, wretch, yes, wretch, probably the hardest house actually to come across. This one, yes, wretch, but also very easy to get through. Now, I'm gonna show the computer in every single one. Okay, I'm going crazy. This one, uh, one kind of handy thing. If you're like going there right after we started the level, uh, you can kind of get a base estimate of where the wretch is going to be. So you can kind of get to where you need to go. So, what you can do is going to be, should be right here. And it's going to run into there. I think because he senses you and he's going to like try to go to the garage. But, run over here. Uh, kind of go as far as you can to the edge without going off and you will stand up. Now, aim kind of about not too far up, but like where it's like slightly darker than the rest. Like, as you can see. Slight or lighter, darker. Aim around here, just spam F, and you will easily find it. It's not too hot. 
No, too hard. But once you find that, you can restart level if the other houses are closer to where the center is of the map. Or unless, you know, you have, let's say, the house over here. You won't need to restart the level. You can just run straight over here. Now I'll show you this one. Also, there's no wretch in here, just a reminder. You can kind of... I'm pretty sure you can grab the computer right through here. But... You can just run through here and do it. And also, the moment... Another thing. The moment uh, you finish, like you back out from the computer after finishing it, you can reset the level and it will set as being completed. Now, I want to see what these houses were again. Alright, this one, yes. No wretch... Yep, okay. I'm gonna show you that one real quick. Actually, I'm gonna show you this one real quick. It's very easy. All I have to do is come to the back here and spam F because the computer's going to swamp right there. So you can just come up here and just spam your F button and find it that way. And yeah. Now I'm gonna go to that. This house right over here. Computer's up here. Right here. Now, one fancy thing about um, this next house, I usually often just drink a juice here, you don't have to, but right when you were starting to level, if you just run straight through, you shouldn't ha shouldn't come across the wretch. But the house or the computer is right up the stairs to the left, right here. And lock the door. Every single time I've done that, I've never came across the wretch. Because I don't think he can possibly be in your path from restarting the level. Because he doesn't have enough time to get over there. Because you always like a certain set spawn in the house when you restart the level. Restart the level. Once you're done. And then... We have three more houses, just these three. Remember that one is no wretch, these two, yes wretch. This one's probably your hardest house though. I mentioned that earlier, but I'll mention it again. Now I'll show you all three right in a row. Now here's this one. You can grab the computer just right through here. Kind of just spam that as you come across here. Or you can just open the door. You know, blah, blah, blah. Do it then. And then you can run back here. If you have some back here. I'm going to check out this house first. Uh, if you're trying to be like a little safe. to see if he's on this main floor. You basically, if he's not on this main floor, you're good to go. So, just run through. Hopefully he's not in the kitchen, because I can end it. But anyways, lock the door in here. Come across to like about here. And then, I believe in this general direction, kind of just spam F. And you can find the computer pretty easily. I don't exactly remember where it is. I usually can find it pretty fast, but anyways. Hopefully you can just... Anyways. All right, let's pretend that didn't happen. On to this corner house. Uh, you can just come over here. Crouch, jump, crouch, jump, crouch, jump, crouch, jump. All the way up to here. And the computer is right here. Boom. Easy. Easy. That's done. And you recite your level. And this, uh, this will be open. I often like to use a juice here, like instantly, just right before, before you get to the door, you know, you can open it. The reason why is because you will get that juice back. Oh, darn, never mind. You usually get your juice back. But I still just do it anyways. Now, movie time. Okay. Now, oh yeah, as I was going on, I should have put those into my inventory, but... You kind of only need three here. Only need to find three of these little bottle thingies. There are only five possible spawns. 
three are in this first section. There's one over there, one right here, and one right here. If you're lucky, you could have gotten all three that you need in the first little bit. But, oh, there was one more just right here. And if you start quick enough, sometimes there's a chance you won't get all of them. I don't really know what causes it. Like when you restart, you'll like lose one of them. Maybe two. But more more often than not, you'll get all three of them back. Those are kind of the only four spawns you need because you for sure get three of them. But there is a the fifth one is like to the left on the other other side the opposite side of where that last spawn was it would just be in there and there's like another door you have to go through and it'll be on that table anyways once you've done that push these three in and then once you restart you will get two back if you do that with like two bottles you'll get one back four three back but there's no reason to do that if you have four anyways now you have to go and get them. It is more than often going to be on this left side. As you see, it's okay. Usually I'm running a lot faster. <laughs> He's usually like not that close to me quite yet. So that kind of jump scared me a little. But anyways, I run to the left. He's either going to be facing you right here, or he's going to be going the other direction down the hallway. Kind of get a little close behind him if he's going there and then he'll just start following you and then just run back and then push this up to him and spam f once you're close and then get to here look around this white line about here then spam f and you should just get the key card before you know it and then just set the level run back And then restart again instantly. You'll be placed here and then just run right to the end gate. Now farm now to begin with you can just aim around right about there and just run that direction use the juice if you want it's really useful and just run straight you'll probably come across a fence just run along it Then once you're here, crouch jump, crouch jump, and then just run until you get to this fence here. Run this way. Turn here. Make sure not to fall off. Do not fall off. Please, if you do, I don't know how to help you from there. But, anyways. Now, from here, just stay on this right edge. This outer edge of the fence. Or all, all the fences. Just stay on this direct one until you are forced to turn. Just basically go straight until you have to turn. Alright, now you can just run right to the end here. Now, Arcade. The beginning of the fourth update. Alright. Well, first, of course, there's a code on this. To the elevator. The elevator, or the code is always going to be 913. 
931. I meant to say 931. 931. 931. 931. That's all. 931. And then, after that, ban the top button to skip the, the video. Now, 0 0.2. That's where things start to get a little tricky. Uh, you can set, up, set it up however you want, but move to here. Crouch, jump. Jump normally. Now jump and spam crouch as you're in the air. Spam crouch. Now. Now you're going to like crouch jump again. I'll show you a little better with the flashlight. But kind of move back a bit. Move forward and crouch jump. You don't have to shit. You don't have to run during this. Just move a bit back. And once you're slightly up here. Just move back down to here. And drop down against that wall. The reason why we can't like go across like normally because we're going to fall down into the void. So we have to do this little crouch jump to get up slightly higher. And then right here. Then you're going to have to crouch jump to get across this. Then you can do this one. Jump down here. Then open that door, restart the level, and then you're going to do this again real quick. Uh, jump normally, crouch, jump, and then this time you're going to run this way, but you're going to have to kind of time this. If you jump too early, you're going to hit like a little ceiling sort of thing. Jump too late. I'm going to do what I just did. Anyways, let's try this again. And I'm pretty sure you're going to have to crouch jump. Now, just run over here. And run to this last little bit. Now you're going to aim when you're about here. Aim about here. I think crouch jumping is just safer. I don't know if you don't I don't know if you need to, but just do it. Now you can do that. Run directly off this. Then you have just two more doors to open. You have this one. And also watch out for the skin stealer, of course. As you're falling from up above, you can kind of see where he is. Let's see if you're gonna have to avoid him or not, but. I kind of wasn't paying attention. Now, once you get that last one, run back over here to this one. And now all you have to do is just three more of these, uh, these breakers. That one. You've got this one. And then you've got this one over here. And you can set the level because you have all five of them. As you can see. Now, click the lever and uh, head to snack rooms. And the code for snack rooms is 3752. Pretty easy to remember. 3752. If you forget, you can always look at the paper that is placed right here. But, just run over here. 3752. And with that, it is done. Now, the saddest part of the whole speedrun. You don't have to do this level. Turn around. Oh, hold on. Well, that's a good explanation how to do it. The second you get but past those doors there, you'll start to fade in, or start to fade out. Uh, restart level. It's a little different on single player, as you won't really see the fade, it will just instantly, uh, it will just instantly start to the loading screen. But, once you like get right past those doors, just go into your menu and restart the level. And you'll be right at the end. You'll spawn facing this way, just turn around and run right through. Now. 
this where this one's a little bit tough of a glitch just a little bit but if you're on 90 fob i can kind of tell you how i do this if you're on if you're on like 120 you're gonna have to find your own timing on how to do this because how this works once you start the elevator uh you know it's gonna close on you oh yeah lining yourself around here is good once you close it you'll get stuck outside it'll go up then you're gonna face you'll be like here you're gonna be trying to face directly this way and then how i like to do this uh hold sprint as you're going up because you're soon to go f you're soon to move uh how i like to do this is the moment a you can see the computers also like the computers that you have to bring here you can see them through all the walls they'll be the only thing that you'll see out in this void but once the moment they come onto screen remember 90 fov because it, your screen is going to be larger but once the moment they come on the screen you're going to move like forward about this much you're gonna to have to learn you're gonna to have to practice this you're gonna to have to learn the muscle memory or gain the muscle memory of how much you have to move forward and then you're gonna jump to the left like this something like that and then you're gonna keep moving keep holding down a and w moving like this and you're going to just be crouched the whole time that's all after that that's all you're going to be doing all right but there is an easier method there's an easier method on the other floor, but I'll show you only this one. So take your screen a little bit to get out. And once you see the computers, okay. So there is actually a kind of low chance that none of the computer, you won't come across any of the computers. They're all going to be like on probably this side or on the back. If this does happen, I do have a backup strat that I've started to use. It's a little harder to tell. It's more of just off of timing in my head. But that's kind of hard to explain to you guys. But I want to show you the other strat real quick. Instead of going up, you're going to have to go down, do it again. Hold shift, facing down to here. And the moment you see an elevator, move forward and jump and crouch. Oh, make sure to uncrouch or you're going to get stuck like this. But you'll be on top, and then I'll I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you this one first. It's a bit more friendly, a bit more easy. But the other one is, of course, is like 20, 30 seconds faster. But let me show you this one. Lime up about the same. Close, shake to get out. Face down, and then once you see it, crowd jump onto it. And then you can jump up a little bit to get on top of this. Either way, if you're still down there but standing, you should be fine. Now, once you get to here, go over here. Kind of face directly diagonal to this. Just walk off. Once you're here, kind of just crouch. Slowly move around this invisible wall. And you should land right there. And it'll take you to pool rooms. Now, this is a more advanced strat. Line yourself up. Now. I hope I, can, I wish I could pause it, but there was three little lights at the bottom there. I kind of have a timing of when those go off screen because I started to use that since computers are a bit, they're a bit, uncon, a bit inconsistent. So I kind of have wait like probably like about a second once they disappear. And then I do the Run forward a little bit and jump off. They're gone. Jump off. As you can see there, I messed it up. I'm pretty sure I didn't run forward enough, but that might be a problem with some of you guys. You might have not like ran forward enough. So, forward. That was a bit earlier and it should be correct this time. Okay, maybe I suck. What the heck? Let's try this again. There we go. I'm going to show you a little bit again. It's kind of a precise timing a little bit. It's a little tough. But let's try this again. 
I should have been it. I should have done it. There you go. Let me show you just one more time. Just so you can get the hang of it a little bit. It's not super precise, but there's like a window that you have to catch. Like a certain window time frame that you have to do it in. So, that's about it. Got questions? You can always ask. Alright, now let's see where the flare gun comes in. You can probably just have your inventory just like this. You can probably change into that as you're climbing a ladder. You'll be climbing a ladder just very here shortly. You can change it into that so you don't waste time of just standing still. Now here, once you pass that pillar, drink juice. Kind of do some crouch jumping to keep your body above the, the, the virus. And you still have a little bit left of your juice. Valve, 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 valve. Now once you do that last one, restart. Now, that's where things get a little interesting. Make sure you're on 150 here. V-Sync still disabled. Now, what you're trying to do here is running this way, getting behind this, shooting up into the raft. But you have to do that as the raft is popping up. But when you're like here as close as you can to the raft, you're going to aim to about here. And then once the raft is at like, once it's popped up out of the water, about like at its highest part of the water or like at the highest like the raft will go basically before it goes back down you're going to shoot and then instantly press f to get inside the raft and it should hopefully fling you correctly this is a pretty precise thing it's pretty hard to pull off i wouldn't blame you but try to center yourself with the raft as well as you see i was a little uncentered there but you've got to be very close to uh, aiming to where I said to aim. As you can see, it's a little hard if you're a little slow. Because if you're too slow and the raft uh, comes up like that, you won't be able to really get, you won't be able to see where to shoot. But I've done this enough where I kind of just guess on where I need to aim. That was actually pretty lucky. Getting it two out of three times there, that does not happen. But yeah, restart the level. Aim. Fire. Three times in a row. Does not happen too much. But it takes some practicing. It really will take some practicing. I will show you just one more time. I'll try to fail. I'll keep going till I fail. And then just do it again after that. Oh, I almost made it there. But right now. Okay, I failed again. I guess I'll be showing you what it's like for me to fail. Nope. Alright. Getting it three times in a row was actually very lucky of me. But I managed to get it somehow. Failed once again. And that should be good. Yep. With that, it's done. Now. On to the next little bit. You can grab, you can hit these elves right through the wall. They're kind of all about the same of where you, you have to angle yourself when like going right up into this corner of these. They're all like just about like here. I usually aim like between like these two little lines, depending on which one. But usually like about here. Blah. This one's here. Yeah, just to look about the same direction right to all of them. Now, you can just crouch jump on top of this. You can run at like an angle like this, crouch jump, and just run to the end. Because you can't run on that or it'll break. Alright, and about the same angle. Bam, F, and then once you're here, change your frames to 60. Apply, restart. Uh, you could just restart before pushing apply. But anyways, this one... Uh, it's about the same difficulty as probably is the last uh, skip right here. But, right, I mean, when you restart the level, you're going to be running forward and you're going to crouch jump. 
uh, when your camera's about here, like, let's say this black part hit, hits uh, the bottom of your screen. Remember, I'm on 90 FOV. If you're on 120, it's going to be a little different for you. Just, just find what works for you. I'm going to try that. Crouch jump. Don't really move. Just land. And once you, like, turn around, shoot your flare before the, the raft comes up. Uh, and then you should fly up, maybe, and stay crouched until you're on. Okay, combine. <laughs> stay crouched until you are, like, above this, the roof here. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Run backwards once you're up here. Drinking a juice can help. But if you're bad like me, okay, combine. <laughs> You'll go too far. To the it's kind of hard to aim yourself a little bit. But I will just keep practicing this. Yeah, run. Okay. Run directly forward. Crouch jump. 180. Flare gun. Juice. Be running backwards. Make sure to walk with your uh, juice so you get the speed from the juice. And just like that, you should... You can start sprinting again because the juice should be gone. And you should just land here. Now you have either two options. Either which way you're closest to. That one, this one. You can run. Don't go too close to this. I like to run along this line here. And once you're close, so you can kind of cut here. Then jump through here. And finish the level. Let's try this again. Remember, remember about crouching, un uncrouching once you're above the roof there. That's pretty important, as you'll probably hit your head once you uncrouch there. Now I might have, nope, I think I maybe just have gotten enough time to get over here. Maybe. May yep, no, we got it, we got it. Okay, which one? Oh, actually, I don't know about when you're here. Okay, almost. You just gotta land up there. Almost got it. You can move yourself a little bit if you have like a certain spot that seems better for you. You can try some other spots that you think work better for you. Just do what works for you. That's basically all I gotta tell you. But this was what usually works for me. I was not directly faced there. There we go. But this strat usually just mostly works for me. I more than often land just about here. Usually, I often would land closer over there, but it's a little different today. Not sure why. Oh yeah, and I also show you of where to run on this side. Because, you know, like I said earlier, if you go too close, you're going to fall into the map. I mean, that will still work out, but you lose time compared to doing this. Because you will land, you know, in the water, and then you have to come up to the spiral staircase. And FYI, there is no fast swim like the Lassophobia in this water. I'm going to show you one more time of me doing it. Just one more time. Oh, sometimes it's going to send you, like, a different direction. It's kind of weird. I don't really fully understand how it works, but... As you can see, I went too, way too far at the time. Let me show you again. Oh, here I are with a different direction this time. We might even be landing close to where we need to go. This can happen. Just trying to like aim to where you need to go a little bit. And like that. You can't get better than that. You cannot get better than that. Barely. You can land directly in here. But that was insane. Actually, I will show you just one more time. Just one more time. And once again, remember to be 60 and be seen disabled.
Alright, this one's going too far off. And the running in the air is kind of just to point yourself in a direction. You slowly start to move in that direction while running in the air. This one should be good. Yes, this one should be good. This one's a good one. This one's a good one. Yeah. We're not going to land like on top of that, but we're going to land pretty close to where we need to go. And like that. Run just about over here. Do not go too close or you will fall into the pool. And just like that, we've done it. Pool rooms. All done. Level fun. I often just leave my inventory open because, oh, unless you're on normal, you probably need some sanity stuff. Anyways, I start with this first one. This one is the popping balloons in the colored order. Going to run forward here. Let me just... Let me just turn it down a little bit. Alright. I'm sure you can still hear me fine either way. No, it's just, it should be fine. Anyways. There are three possible spawns for the tapes over here. One in each door. It will spawn there. Right there. And right here, which it is right there. So, now the order is red. Oh no, it's green, yellow, blue. No, green, 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 yellow, red, blue, pink. I believe that is the order. No, red, green. Yep, yeah, holy fart. Okay, I can only do it when I'm like in the moment. I already got the tape. Yeah, when I'm like in it. Because I memorized, just like, the order I need to pop balloons. I should mention this. When you're, when you first put in the tape, when this first shows up, you're able to push the first one. Then, I move on to this one, green and yellow. And then, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow, blue, red, green, yellow, blue, red, pink. You can change it to how you like to do them. But that is easy for me to remember i don't know if that's like the fastest way but it's a pretty fast way next is the keys and the balloons there are four possible spawns yes three of them are in that big center beyond this wall um, and there's one more in the back i'm going to show you something here sometimes when you first enter a party go can be coming right to you also on the right if the one on the right sees you you can still run to the big room in time and get into a table but yeah, i'll show you after if that party goes is gonna be coming this way well i can tell you right now if he's coming you can just avoid it through this pole like be the opposite side of the pole and avoid line of sight from him so now you just run to this middle one there's probably gonna be some in here just try to avoid them as best you can. First spawn, this one. None in there. FYI, you don't have to pick up the key to, for it to be given to you. The second it is has spawned, uh, you can just reset the level. Move on to the next. All right, the next spawn, right there. As you can see, we have it. You don't have to pick it up. I'll prove it to you later. This is the next one. Hopefully you have already found it. But I'll show you the last possible spawn. It's going to be just right over here. This one. I'm pretty sure it's that one. It could be this one. But I'm very certain it is that one. So, once the key has spawned, just run back. Make sure to restart the level, of course. Now, on to the... What's it called? What are they called? I don't remember what they're called. The freaking the glowy, the gl glow sticks. Glow sticks. Hey. Right. You can just grab one of each. Doesn't exactly matter. Blue. Yellow. 
Red. All right, so once you get all of them, oh wait, we don't even have room. Make sure you have room, that's very important. Oh, it didn't even like register, okay. Well, make sure that doesn't happen. That has actually never happened to me. Until now. There we go. One useful thing is just put the red one. Doesn't exactly matter. Actually, I'll show you if you just don't do that. The first one's the blue one. They're gonna run straight into this one. If they're quick enough and we're starting, he shouldn't have gotten into here yet. But there is a chance, just like that, that he is gonna be like standing directly in front of you right here. Well that's that's very rare. Next is the red one right here. And often he could be coming down this hallway, so make sure you look out for him. If he's not here, you can run down here freely. Yellow. And then finally. Green. Right here. Then once that's there, reset the level. Get your key. Restart just for a few seconds faster. Now finally. The uh, firework level. This one, I do not have a fully good strat because they've changed it. I haven't found like an exactly good strat because the time of the guys to come out is like completely random on the first door. Anyways, you're going to get these fireworks, get this one. You can get this one by jumping right on top of here. And usually, more than not, they have already like came out to you on like a normal run. But that was a pretty good run. It works pretty well. But one thing you can do, if they're very close, crouch jump over this, crouch jump over here, they'll be forced to go all the way back to that one. And, but instead of waiting like I did, you can run straight, uh, I'll show you in a second. You can just run straight to the next little bit. But, yes. Also, if you ended up dying there and you got those first two, you can just run right through. But if they're close behind you, like if you haven't died yet, you can crouch jump over that. You know, but anyways, run over here. They might get me here. I don't think so. Crouch, go along this pole, come out. All right, they shouldn't be able to kill you. All right, never mind. If they're facing away from you, they can't kill you. But I think that's when you... Oh, jeez. That should be still enough time for me to get to the end. I still don't fully understand this. I haven't practiced it enough. Only like a few times. Go to this pole. Direct, go like directly to the right. And get ready to go in there with them. Just like that. If you're too slow, you will get locked behind. The door will close on you. Get that one. Stand on this playmat. Get that one. And you are done. Now, that little skip right before the door is a little tricky. But yeah, once you're under the table facing it, 90 degrees to the right, come out from under the table against the wall and get ready. Like, get your get your fingers ready to follow them right to the door. Because if you're too slow, you will get locked out and you have to do like you have to probably like recreate that scenario somehow by just restarting the you can just restart the level and do it easily but or you can just play it normally you have to get the three other eyes that you have to hit there was one more right to the right or right behind you or right to the right of that door there was one up there and then the next one you have to go in that big dining room to the right of that get the eye and then the opposite go out to the opposite side of that huge room in that door there's another one and then you can go into that final room oh well, we just did and then get those final two in there stop so, yes also during that you're gonna have to carry a total of four fireworks um usually i end up dying so i often once i i get this one now i usually end up dying there and i can just grab another one here you can grab another one on one of the tables just nearby as you run past but 
That'll take some practice. Practice that. And once you're done, exit. Because you got the key. And all you have next is this one. Now, put your FPS to 240. This will be at fast. This will be as fast as you can. You can't do unlimited because apparently that's not allowed. Not sure why. As that's like an intended in the tenant in the game but anyways i guess it can be op for some people because some people have very good pcs and it'll be unfair for some people anyways the fat the higher fps the faster this moves so and i'm not entirely sure if your pc can't handle it uh it would probably be a little slower anyways I have to pee. Alright. Now. This level. This is another level you also get to skip. Like earlier, just... As you go past those doors, reset. I did a little too early. But what I have to do is like... Jump. And then... Do it. And then you're right at the end. And uh, head to the next level. Level 55.1, I believe. Don't need that. You don't need anything. Well, it'd be nice to have these for your sanity. Oh. Anyways. Oh yeah, let me restart this because I like to line up some things somehow. Uh, some entities move. Anyways, get a camera. One. Uh, run off. Move slide to the left, to the right, back. That's pretty easy. You might fall off sometimes. Take a photo. So there's like certain angles this works. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's pretty, it's pretty buggy, I feel like. Anyways. One thing to know about the camera, actually, to help you a little bit. If you're running, you take a photo, it's going to think you took a photo, but it's like not actually going to like take the photo, like the animation will show, but also it won't take the photo at the end of the thing. And if you do it while you're jumping, while you're like you're landing from a jump, just make sure you're completely walking and take a photo. Or that little bug. Here, I'll show you. Like. So now I'm spamming click and it's not letting me take a photo because the previous thing, previous photo of what I think it said, or what I think it's. Gosh, my words are jumbled. But like, it's. You understand. You understand. Like, it's waiting for the last animation, but the animation is actually not playing, but I think it is. It's just waiting for it to finish. So, anyways, on to the next. You can take a little early here. Do that. Actually, let me restart once again because the bacteria monster on the second floor, I like to. At a certain time of going through this, he's at a certain point. So. Backwards. I want to take these photos again so that lining up is correct. Now, you're going to crouch jump, uh, just right here. And then you move to the left and just fall to the bottom. You, you don't have to, you should probably uncrouch as you fall, or like right at the top. I think, I don't know if it for surely matters, but just uncrouch to be safe. <clears throat> now, the next one, right here, take a photo. Now, this is where things get a little tricky. I might be, I'm probably a little bit behind. Let me restart. There are going to be multiple types of multiple spots that Mr. Bacteria will be at. And uh, you're going to have to check up all those spots. But I'm going to run to a certain spot that he's most likely going to be facing towards you and he's going to run. We're going to quickly do the crouch jump thing again like we do right here. But do it on the bottom on the floor below. And then I take a photo as we're there and then we're going to drop down. But there's going to be certain other spots that you need to be that will be safer but also take less time or take up more time i meant and then let's see he can he can he can be walking there as you go by he's not i think it's safe he's gonna be chasing us we might have been too late take a photo walk down there you go that is kind of a risky you're going to be very take some practice but that's exactly how it should look let me show you again of some of his of his other spawns because hopefully I can show you his other spawns that of where he can be at if you know if you are on good pace. He can be going there, he's not there. He's at the exact same spot. Let me show you again. 
Never mind, I messed up. Photo. Could be there. No. He's chasing us. Ball. Make sure you did do it a little better than I did. I think I fell off too quickly, but it's fine. Okay, crouch jump. Move left out and crouch. Fall down. Crouch jump. Photo. It's not over there. One more time, one more time. Or, you know, instead of doing all of this, you could be a little slower and just find him and be safe normally, you know. Alrighty. Hi, guys. I'm a little... This is a, a little later version of Chocolate. But... Uh, chocolate, other chocolate, actually didn't show you all the spawns of uh, bacteria on uh, the second floor. So, I'm going to quickly show you them as he is completely forgot about them. So, I'll be going through those and uh, yeah. So, one a bit thing to know, there's about like maybe five separate things directions that he could be going you know there's the one that you've always been seeing him go through is right uh here he could be right here as you can see finally he's not there he could be walking down past this way they come back well if he's not over there just come right over here and you can see he's right there but okay usually you're going to be a bit faster than that and he won't turn around in time but he's going to be like either walking that direction he was going or to the left of that there was like Another, just to the left of that, there was another direction to go. Okay, now again. It could be walking right here already, or coming to you. You could be right around here. He's not. He's not over there, and they could come straight over here. He could be going that way, or going that way. I see we're a little ahead of time. And yeah. Now, another thing Chocolate didn't exactly show you. He didn't show you where all where the skin stealer can be. He's, skin stealer is always usually going to be on this side of the area. But, I'm going to show you real quick. And one fancy thing, you can just uh, push the camera while uh, sprinting and, you know, it'll quite still work even though there's no animation. Now, skin stealer is more than likely going to be over here if you are ahead of time. Can I quite create a little bit of a distance to get your photo? Alright. Well, I, I could have turned around a lot quicker there. To show you the photo. But he's going to be around there. You have a bit of time to take your photo and uh Yeah. Okay, back to previous chocolate. There we go. Now, like I was saying earlier. You can kind of uh, do this to them. And then take a photo of the back side of these right here. Make sure to be like directly behind them. Oh jeez, that's a little scary. You can be like directly right here or you could be on this side. Make sure you're not like too far left or it's nah, not going to work. But be careful. This will take some practice. Try not to rush around corners like that or you know you're going to die. Now. Let's say, like, I'm just going down here normally again. Uh, if you're, like, on a good pace around this time, uh, the skin stealer he is more than likely to be on, like, that side of the, uh, the uh, floor. Alright. Now, yeah, there's one last little glitch before the end. You're going to, as it's going up, you're going to crouch up, up onto here, into that little corner of this. You're gonna be looking all the way down and onto the little edge there, and then at one point your character is start gonna go is gonna start going down. And then once your cursor hits like this little edge, you're going to push W and D. Just like that. Anyways, let's try it. So, all the way down, cursor here, and once it hits the bottom outer edge of the elevator, 
W and D, and run to the end. Um, it's sometimes if you do it too late, if you do it too early, too late, it's not really gonna work. It's a kind of precise timing. I'll show you again. Look about here. And there you go. Just follow my exact timing. Remember, head bobbing off. That'll make it easier because if you're if it's on, your character's going to be swaying just like that. So keep it off. And then just like that, run to this. Uh there you go. All done. All done. Ugh. Now, yeah, now I'm going to show you about the, uh, the dual file thing real quick, where you can skip, where you can skip, um, what are the levels? They are, okay, office, lights out, cave, and farm, also known as field of wheat, I just call it farm, some people call it field of wheat, but those four levels, office, lights out, cave, farm, anyways. You're going to need, probably, hopefully, it'll be easier with two fresh files. So to clear your files, control R, percent local app data percent, press OK. But you're going to find escape the back room, saved, save games. And you can see where all your multiplayer uh, saves are at. Save with your single player. You have multiplayer in caps all in front. And then you're going to just clear. If you're on multiplayer, clear your multiplayer ones. If you're on single player, clear your single player ones. It doesn't, or you can just clear every single one. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to clear my multiplayer ones. And as you can see, they are all gone because I just currently did it. So, yeah, as you can see, there are none. So, during this tool file, tool file thing, you know, you should name your first one different than your second one. You're going to make your second one when you get to uh, the end of electrical. Because you're going to quit as you're loading into it. I'll show you from actually one of my speed runs. But yeah. So once you do that. Name it something that you will remember compared to the first one. Just say like file 1. Start the game. And then on your second save. Make sure it's not the same. It's not the same because I'm pretty sure it will overlap it. At least that happened to me. I named it the exact same. And I only had one of the saves. They're only showing up once on here. It could be, it, it could have just been a one-time thing, but that's what happened to me one time. So just try to keep them different. So, yeah. Now with the first one, office. Office. Here, let me pull it up. I'll show you. Okay. As the screen fades dark as you go on to, uh, into office, you're going to quit the game. And you see, it starts to fade. I quit. It, it's a little, it's fine even if you go into the loading screen, but yeah. So you create another save. Name it different to compare to the first one. I don't think the difficulty matters, but I don't know. If, you know, probably just keep it the same difficulty as what you're using. Now you're in level zero. You're going to go through it just like normally. You know, ladder to the ladder, restart the level, then get to the end. And, uh, yeah. Now once you're in here. You're going to instantly go back into the previous and as it's just like earlier as you're loading back into it with the game and then load back into your previous save this will be easier on single player as like you have a good little set list of your files but you know this is just if you're doing a multiplayer so yeah load into your first one again and as you can see you're at the end of office now one thing to take note you probably think as you can see here it's only like a, it's about the same speed as normally doing office but but yes that is like true but as you can see uh once you get the lights out you're going to do it again uh let's see see it fades dark i quit the game now you're going to open the same save the same second save that you did last time. But one thing to notice, one thing to take note, you will have to do the ladder cutscene again, which is why it's good to do it uh, at office. Because, yeah, they're about the same speed as doing office, 
But if you didn't do it, you would have to do the ladder cutscene here. But as you can see, I'm a little dumb. I forgot about that. And I just ran to the ladder. <laughs> as you can see, you can't really see me. See, I got I got a little sad there. I was a little angry. That little I forgot. But yeah, you can just like do it like when you restart the level after the ladder cutscene, you can just run. You know, like how you would. So yeah, that's why you do it at office instead of, you know, not doing it. Because if you did it, if you just did office normally, you would have to do it then at Lights Out. And that would take up time because, you know, you have to do a lot of cutscene that time. Anyways, yeah, you load back in to your main save and you're at the end of Lights Out. So, pretty fancy. Okay, okay, Ryan, now... This happens again, but it's a little different at a uh, cave here. But instead of while it fades, the moment you actually do load into a cave is when you quit. See, as I loaded, and then I quit the game. That's the only thing that's different compared to the other ones. So yeah, do the exact same thing. Uh, run straight to the end. You don't have to do a lot of cutscene again because you did it at office. And then you do this once again on the Field of Wheat level, or at the end of the Suburbs level. As you can see, right here. And this time, it's just like the first two times, you quit as you are fading to black. And like that, run to the end. And then go into Haddle Zone, quit back. Or go back, quit as you are loading or fading to black. And then back to your main save. And just like that, you've skipped all four of those levels. And that's the only time you do them. So, uh, here on the street, when you do Discord server, they, you do have all these uh, save files that you can put into where you deleted your save files, like I showed you earlier. So, yeah, you can do that. And, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's just about all that I have to show you. Well, thank you all for being here. Very nice of you guys to be here. <laughs> thank you for watching my speedruns, and I hope this really helped. If you have any more questions, you want me to go over a few more things. And also, one final thing. Some of these glitches are bound to change, you know. Fancy might release, like, a, a patch. Or a better glitch will be found out, because this, this update is still a little fresh. It's been out for almost a month. Their glitch is still being found. Like those dual file. Yeah, there are still glitches to be found. But yeah. Well, thank you guys. See ya.